Okay, welcome to the second part of this tutorial, which is to model the palm tree. Previously, I had set up two images, one of a leaf texture and one of a bark texture for use in this tutorial. So without further ado, let's get into it. So first up, I'm going to set my uh, project through management. So I'm going to set my project folder in 3ds Max. I'm going to create a new folder. I'm going to call it palm tree. I'm then going to place in scene assets and images <clears throat> my two textures that I wish to use palm bark diffuse, palm leaf diffuse. Okay, so first up, I'm just going to create a leaf and then go ahead and then make the stalk or trunk of the tree. So in this tutorial, I'm going to use the plane <clears throat> primitive turn on edge faces to see how many polygons I have and I think in the most basic level this should be fairly fine for this tutorial okay so I open up the material editor which opens up the slate I'm going to create a standard material and I'm going to get a bitmap browsing for my new scene palm trees uh, scene assets, images, or formats, I will select my palm leaf diffuse 01 BMP and hook that up to the diffuse channel as well as hanging it, <coughs> hooking it up to the opacity channel. Right click in the material, I'm going to call it palm leaf material and then apply it to the selection and switch it on. So this stage you should get something that looks like this. For one thing the shape of the primitive is a little bit wrong. I'm going to change some of the parameters. Get something how I want. And also the transparency is not working. Let's go back and have a look at the material editor. So in the opacity channel we have a material applied so we need to go in here and make one change to the mono channel output to alpha which will then switch on the alpha channel okay so I can close the material editor for now so I have a leaf here I'm just going to play around if it's width and height to get the desired sort of look and that looks pretty good I will just position it in real uh, zero world coordinates by zeroing it out by right clicking the spinners and position it over here and now we'll change the pivot point of this object by going to the hierarchy effect pivot only and moving the pivot to the base or the, <coughs> the beginning of the stalk of this leaf we will basically, basically be where I work from as far as this leaf is concerned. So it looks good. Okay, now I'm going to create a cylinder, which is going to be the basis of the stalk of the, or the trunk of the tree itself. I'm just going to go for probably only about eight sides, which is plenty of detail. Change its height. And it'll probably be okay for the basic shape. Zero that out, and then I will go ahead and apply the material for this also. So you're hitting M on the keyboard, or going up and selecting the material editor up here. Um, basically, there opens the material slate editor. So in here, I'm going to create a new material, a standard, and we'll name this <coughs> Palm Bark. Material and then load in a bitmap. This time the bark texture that I prepared earlier, plug that into the diffuse channel. And we'll right click and apply it and switch it on the viewport. Okay, so now this texture should be showing up quite nicely. Uh, detail on at the moment I would like it to be a bit more repeating 
So I'm just going to go into the modifier and I'm going to chuck on a UVW unwrap. Or unwrap UVW. Hit edit. Bringing up the edit dialog. <coughs> you can see our palm bark texture. Let's take the entire UV set and I'm going to do a scale. So I get the desirable amount of detail on the palm itself. That looks pretty good. We'll just go off that for the moment. All right. So then I will just collapse all. And we'll convert to an edible poly. All right. So it's not really a palm trunk much at the moment. So we're going to do a few things in the modifier. We're going to add a couple of modifiers into the stack. One of the ones I'm interested in is the taper. So we'll taper the top. So I'm just going to taper it like so. It's quite nice. I might just scale it up a little way. A little more height, get back to the taper and taper a little bit more. Okay, that should be nice. I'm going to also apply another modifier called a bend. So I can get a bend going on to get that kind of palm tree look. Looks good, right? And it's a little bit too straight. I want to make it a little bit more crooked. So going back down the stack to the bottom to select the vertices, turn on show end result. I'm just going to tweak the position of some of these vertices a little bit just to give it a bit of a crooked look. Like so. And cruise up back through the hierarchy. So what we have there is a sort of a better looking Um, trunk. Alright, so now we're going to grab the leaf. Now the leaf is already set up as far as I'm concerned with UVs, so I'm just going to go straight ahead and I want to distort this a little way. So I'm going to look for a modifier that will distort it, and I believe it's called random. Where is it? Do, 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 do. Ripple, relax, skew, patch, morpher. Uh, I'll probably just try bend first at the moment. <coughs> and the bend just to basically bend the object. Okay, it's not bending for me at the moment, which is kind of interesting. There we go. Gotta select the right bend axes. Still not bending very well. Try a different angle. Let's bring the direction to zero. Okay, there we go. So it bends it over for me. I'm going to rotate it and I'm going to bend it some more to get that sort of look like so. Alright, I'm going to put a uh, twist on it as well. Twist modifier comes on like so. Might just um, push it through the stack under the bend. So I get a little bit of a twist going on. Just drop the bend, so I get the result I want. Check through the axes that I like. Turn back on the bend modifier. Just to give it a little bit more of an interesting palm leafy look. I'm just looking for the last one I would like to apply, which would be a noise. Let's drop these two. And let's see how the noise will look. So I want to like um, sort of pump it up in the Z axis a bit. Okay. And decrease the scale. And then go through the band modifier. Let's just sort of modify it a little bit more to make it look at a little bit more natural again. Just turn on the twist. 
I would decrease this twist a bit and just decrease the yeah, just sort of dial in it for the result you want okay it should be quite nice okay done that now so let's move it up into position around the top of uh, our trunk like so the idea now is to sort of um, copy it around a little bit so you can just hold down shift and probably make just copies of it at this stage and just sort of rotate it I'm going to change it to the local coordinate system and just continue doing this basic operation let's go back to view copy shift Okay, maybe even scale that a little bit. So the object is basically to populate the trunk of this object with our new leaf. Okay, looks good, and probably two more. grab all those objects except for the trunk and I'm just going to do a shift edit or shift drag out to make a copy scale it all in and if I turn it to local I should be able to rotate the leaves in a little bit and go back to view And basically, we have created a palm tree. Just to sort of finish it off, I'm just going to make a couple of extra leaves, copies, and dial it right down. As far as scale is concerned, rotate it, drop it right down. And just do one more of that. Okay. And maybe just one more of these at the top. This one I'm going to modify the bend. It's a little bit straighter. And just to give us the final sort of one at the top there. It's a little bit too far over perhaps. Alright, so there we go. Just model the palm tree. A little bit more work to make it look nice, but it's basically it. So. <coughs> One of the final things you need to do, I'm just going to create a duplicate of the whole tree for editing at a later date. But I'm just going to go here and I'm going to collapse all. Then I'm going to add all the other objects to it by using attach. Easy way of seeing what's going on, just go edge faces and just start attaching everything. Um, tree oh one. So that's a basic, very basic palm tree, and you can get a quite an effective result quite quickly. The more work you spend on it, of course, the better it will look. There are some issues with it not being quite right there, but essentially that's it. Thank you for listening to this tutorial.